Hello everyone and welcome to the Close Contact YouTube channel. I'm going to be showing you just a kind of quick tip when using the FL Studio and it is why it's important to colour code when working on a project and why it's important to get your project organised. One of the reasons I colour code in FL Studio is if I'm working on a project and I can't finish it when I revisit the project once I get a new idea or whatever, coming back to it and the project's a mess, it's an absolute nightmare to work on it because you don't know where anything is. So I'm going to show you an example of what a project is meant to look like and what a project is not meant to look like. So if you look at FL Studio, this is a project that I've finished. Everything is in perfect order. You've got your kick here, your kick at the top, everything's colour coded. And then your kick here, the bases, all the same colour, pluck base, all the same colour, clap, hats, as you can see across the project, crashes, plucks. And if you go to your mixer, you can see all colour coded and in order. If you've got a fault with the track, you'll be able to find it really easy if you've got all your stuff colour coded and you've got it in order. So let's look at a project that is not in order or colour coded. So here's a project that I've just kind of thrown together. The only thing that I've got matched up is the kick and the closed hat. So these other elements, if this is the first time you're using the FL Studio, it would probably confuse you looking at this, it actually confuses me and I made the project. So the way to organise your track is colour coding it and make sure everything's in order and I'm going to show you how to colour code. Pattern 3 we'll select the first one that's not been colour coded and we'll play the pattern and that's an open hat so we're going to name that open hat So like yellow, since the closed hat's yellow as well, I like to have my hats all the same colour, you know, that kind of idea. Open hat, the pattern that's on, rename name that. And as you can see there, when I pressed enter on the pattern, it changed the colour of this here. And what you can do now is you can right click, auto name. Something that I don't do personally, but you can do if you want, is you can change the icon. And all you need to do is right click on this here. Change icon. And change it to a symbol if you want. If it's a hat, obviously change it to a high hat. Like that. Also remember, once you've done your sound and your step sequencer, the name of your pattern, you also need to change it in the mixer. So if we play the pattern, you can see it's playing in number 3, the number there, matches with there, right click, open hat. And I'll do it one more time so that you definitely know what's going on here. So I'll select this pattern that's not been named, number 4. And that's another closed hat, so we'll call that closed hat number 2. Enter, rename the pattern that's on, auto name, play the pattern, And if you want to be really organised, move the closed hat 2 next to the closed hat 1 on the mixer. If you press shift and use the scroll on your mouse, it will move it up like so. And then the pattern name, and then on the actual step sequencer as well. Having your track organised is essential. So, if you went Back to this track, let's just ignore these top 
track four tracks, all right. So you've got track five, track track six, track seven, track eight, track nine, track ten. Looking at that straight away, you don't really know what's happening. You don't know what they are. They're just unnamed patterns. But coming into this project, it's already labelled. It's all colour coded correctly. You know exactly where everything is. You've got your kicks up the top, they're all the same colour. Same colour on the pattern here and here. Your bases, your plucks, rides, hats, all the same colour, vocals, and the same on the mixer. Absolutely essential. This has been another Close Contact FL Studio tutorial. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Bye.